Let's take a look on how you can create news and share it with your team members and throughout your whole intranet using SharePoint, Office 365, and Microsoft Teams. First thing we want to do is create a news post. Now you can do that straight from the SharePoint home in Office 365 by clicking Create News Post. Choose the area that you want to publish and it'll take you right to the design page, the authoring canvas, to create your news article. Now that you've started publishing news from SharePoint, you might want to bring it into the context of where you're having that discussion with the rest of your team in Microsoft Teams. To add a page as an individual tab, you just click the plus sign, choose the SharePoint tile, then you'll have the full article in the context of the user interface of Microsoft Teams for the rest of the team or anybody to be able to then engage on and share with. So you can see here the full article loads up, you can see the associated assets that are embedded within the article itself, PowerPoint, uh, Excel spreadsheet showing some of the numbers, and then further down you'll see a number of different things that are associated and pulled in from across Office 365, including even a video for Microsoft Stream. And whenever you want, you can click and have a dialogue and a discussion right about that page, right in the context of the team that you're working with. Another thing, if you want to have beyond just an individual page as a tab, is to have every piece of news coming into the conversation side of things. To do this, you can see a couple of the different news articles that are uh, coming through automatically. If you go into any of the channels and go into the connectors, you'll see a new connector called SharePoint News. All you do is click Add. Once you've added it, configure it, which essentially just associates that team site news to flow into that particular channel. Once it's all set up, the next time you publish news, it'll appear just here like this or news article, a more memorable travel experience. Once your team members start creating a lot of news, you can email a news digest, which is a really nice way to have rich previews with inside an email that goes to very specific people or broad groups if you want to send it to a broader group. To do an email news digest, you click email a news digest, select the articles that you want to include. I'm going to select four here real quick. Click next. And then I will give it a name. Choose the people that I want to send it to. add a quick message. And when I click send, they're going to get a nice rich email with previews to each of the four articles I selected and of course deep links that take them to the actual article in SharePoint. Last thing I want to show here is once you've had an article out there for a while and a lot of people have been reviewing the article and uh, obviously reading and providing some feedback, you can see the activity on the page. So you can see how many people are liking it and actually as you hover you'll see who liked it. You can go right direct to the comments and read all the comments if you haven't reviewed them yet. You can see the number here. And you also get a tally of how many people have viewed this article. This will be available on every page and every news article. Now you'll be able to have a rich set of data to show you what is the engagement on your article and potentially point out some of those things that you might want to do differently to increase the engagement. Well, that was a quick look at all of the new news features and updates that we're bringing to Office 365 and into Microsoft Teams so that your teams can work more closely together, stay more connected, and share things more easily using tools like SharePoint News and having that experience rich within Microsoft Teams.